WWE wrestlers who performed drunk in a match. Jake the Snake Roberts Though the legendary Jake the Snake Roberts has struggled with alcohol throughout his life, and on one occasion in 1996, things got so bad for the WWE Hall of Famer that he wrestled drunk in a featured match. On the October 20th, 1996 episode of WWE Superstars, Roberts defeated Marty Garner in a match lasting almost three minutes. And according to Garner on the Cheap Heat Productions podcast, Roberts was drunk heading into the match. Andre the Giant there were so many stories relating to Andre the Giant and his drinking, and he somehow had the ability to drink to excess without impairment. According to Gerald Briscoe, Andre once drank six bottles, just six bottles of wine before a show. It was a miracle that nobody was hurt when Andre stepped foot in the ring on that particular night. Fork SummerSlam 1992 was a huge show for WWE, as WWE presented their annual Summer Spectacular in London, England. The legendary Legion of Doom was set for their show, yet this was just one issue, as Hawk was completely hammered. It's claimed that Hawk may have also been on some kind of illegal substance, yet this has never been confirmed. Hawk's partner Animal did however state in his book that Hawk was heavily intoxicated, and this is more than apparent when watching the matchup. Scott Hall Scott Hall is another legendary name that has struggled with alcohol. In 2011, Hall was booked to appear in an independent show and Hall was so intoxicated that he had to be helped through the backstage area. The promoter of the show was incredibly negligent to allow Hall to enter the ring and it was a sad visual seeing Hall not have a clue where he was. Thankfully, in the years before his passing, Hall managed to get clean and he had a career resurgence where he was able to make several WWE appearances and he rightfully took his place when he went into the WWE Hall of Fame. John Moxley but John Moxley has always been open when it comes to his struggles with alcohol. And during an interview with Bleacher Report, the former WWE and AEW World Champion revealed that he has wrestled drunk in the past. Oh, 100%. I wouldn't do it now, but back in the younger days, especially in CCW, it was as much a monthly part as it was a show. Especially when you're doing death matches and crazy stuff, certain things that you put in your body can put you in the right mindset. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's a good combination sometimes. Sometimes you just need a shot of whiskey to calm your nerves. William Regal well, William Regal's first stint in WWE was terrible. Regal had a ton of demons that he had yet to overcome, and these demons were on full display during a match on Raw in 1998. Before a match with Goldust, it was obvious that Regal was acting out of character, and then his in-ring work was noticeably erratic. The Road Dog in 2000, Road Dog was struggling with his sobriety and this came ahead in late 2000 when he wrestled in a tag team match where he was in no fit state to perform. Road Dog himself has shared his regret regarding the situation and he would even call his behavior an embarrassment. Alicia Fox the February 10th, 2019 WWE live event saw Alicia Fox compete in six-person tag action. Unfortunately, it was reported that the former Divas champion was intoxicated upon arriving at the arena and the blame fell on WWE producer Arn Anderson. Anderson was accused of following Fox to perform and the WWE took the matter so seriously that Anderson was released from his WWE contract. And Jeff Hardy Without a doubt, the most infamous instance of a wrestler competing drunk took place in 2011. The main event of the TNA Victory Road pay-per-view was to see Jeff Hardy take on Sting for the world title, yet there was one issue. Hardy was so intoxicated that TNA were forced to call an audible and end the match within a few seconds. Quite rightly, TNA management were heavily criticized for how they handled the situation, as sending a drunken wrestler out there could have been catastrophic. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, yet this did notable damage to the legacy of Hardy as well as the legacy of the TNA promotion as a whole. But there you have it folks, WWE wrestlers who performed drunk in a match. Be sure to leave your comments down below, I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.